Okay, um, I did a video before about a quick way to see if you have uh, lossy cables. Uh, a good cable goes all the way around the outside. Uh, let's see, I guess I can demonstrate that. So this is a, this is a good cable. Let me screw it on. And uh, it goes all the way around this outside. And if you have a lossy cable, um, it goes, goes towards the middle. Uh, let me find a lossy cable here. And you can see that that one is a little bit, a little bit worse, right? And it's frequency dependent and it's length dependent, all kinds of stuff like that. But uh, what I like it for is uh, a very quick check. When I go to measure things, I can just glance at the screen and know if there's a problem or not. It should just be a nice circle, and if there's not, then maybe there's a problem with the connector, or the, the pins sometimes get, get botched up, um, or you don't have the correct frequency cable for the frequencies you're operating at. It's just a really, really quick way to see if there might be loss in the cable, okay? I wanted to show you another thing today um, that could come in handy as well. It's, it's uh, similar to this one, okay? So let me do a quick calibration, so all right, so what I want to kind of demonstrate today is if we zoom in on this, uh, we can see that, you know, here's 50 ohms, here's 49 ohms, here's 51 ohms. So we're calibrated really, really well for, uh, for 50 ohms. Now, in, um, oops, let's do a scale here. Um, in theory, a 50 ohm transmission line in a 50 ohm system shouldn't mess up anything. It should add phase, but it shouldn't mess up anything else, okay? So, I'm going to put on a 50 ohm cable, and I am going to then, let's see here. I'm then going to add a 50 ohm load to the other side. And you see all we're getting is one little spot down in there. Now we can zoom in um, and we can see how bad we are. So we're going, let's go back one. So we're kind of going around maybe half of an ohm, something like that. Uh, it's very, very close, okay? And we could calibrate better and put in averaging stuff. We could even we could even show that that is really really small. So that is a is a perfect 50 ohm load, and a perfect 50 ohm cable should give you a perfect dot. Okay, and um, let's try that with a not so perfect cable. All right. So we'll put in a a not so perfect 50 ohm cable. I mean, it's sold as a 50 ohm cable. It should, should be good. And let me hook this one up. And even at a scale of one, I think you can see that that's, that's not looking really good down there. Okay, we can zoom in a bit. And you can see that we have all these big loop de doos Here's 50, here's 55. Uh, yeah, it's way off. It's like, you know, way, way off. Now, what causes this? Well, I'm not quite sure. Um, I have a belief that it's because it's not an exactly a 50 ohm cable. A lot of, quote, 50 ohm cables are actually 52 ohms, or maybe they're 51 ohms, but they're not 50 ohms. And this one seems to be measuring high, right? It's, and it has uh, maybe some inductance. It's kind of up. I don't know what that's all about. But anyway, this is definitely not a, a 50 ohm cable, all right? So I wouldn't be using it for uh, critical measurements. Let's use a, a cable here that came with the, um, came with my Nano VNA FV2. And it's a pretty good little cable. Uh, it's, Not bad. So let's plug it on to see how it does at this zoom level. Yeah, see it's doing it's doing quite well at this zoom level, right? Much, much better than the other one. All right. Now one thing I wanted to point out is uh, just because you have super short c 
cables doesn't mean that you don't have to worry about this stuff, okay? Uh, this is a super short cable that came with the... This came with the... Uh, what did this come with? Uh, just a second. Yeah, this came with a nano, the reg I think the original nano VNA. It's one of these kind of beige cables that like seem to be every everywhere. Um, so you would think though, oh heck, it's so short. You know, why would you, why would you worry about it? Uh, so let's try it out. It's not gonna mess it up. It's only four inches, four inches long. And you can see, wow, right? It starts here at 50 and goes all the way out to maybe 57, uh, something like that. Maybe we can read it off right here. It's 56 over there. Um, so, yeah, um, just because you have a super short cable, if you're making critical measurements um, and you might be worried about the cable, it's good to calibrate at the end of the cable and get rid of these artifacts. They will calibrate out if you calibrate at the end of the cable. That's not always possible, depending on what you're trying to measure. Um, so sometimes you would like to have a cable that acts like a transmission line and doesn't mess up your measurement. Uh, here is a fairly, fairly high grade cable. It's about the same diameter as that other stuff. But this is a uh, Environflex or something from Sooner. I don't know. I think that's, I think that's what this cable is. Anyway, it's a Swiss cable high quality Swiss cable and we'll put a load on it and uh, yeah see so this one is one two about three times longer than this one and it's measuring really well let me get my hand off of it so yeah so it's coming over here to um, where's my oops let me go back to scale of one you can see that it's nice a nice little dot there right so Anyway, that's the point of this video. Nothing more than that is um, it's a quick way, quick way to test your cable. Now, how am I, how am I testing it? Um, you can either um, calibrate the machine. I'm calibrating it with, um, with male SMA connectors, okay? And then I'm putting on a male-to-male -male, uh, cable, all right? And the other end of it is, is male. And so in order to use the same calibration standards, I'd have to use a little adapter. That's fine. It doesn't add very much electrical length. Um, we, could go, we could go ahead and do that and uh, put, on our, put on our 50 ohm loads. And we should get, we should get the same picture. And we do. We get, we get the same picture, right? Now, uh, I have a video of me making this thing, which is a female um, calibration standard. And I was just using this. But it measures fine, too. So... In your particular kit, just put a uh, an adapter on it, and then you can change all of your all of your calibrations to a, a female version of it, and you'll get a you'll get a nice spot. All right.